Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna make a quick video uh, benchmarking the EVGA GTX 680. It's a four gigabyte car with a backplate, and uh, I'm gonna be using 3D Mark uh, Fire Strike. Uh, I'm gonna over it, the car's overclocked to about 1300 megahertz uh, on the GPU clock, and you can see the settings here using Precision X. Um, This these settings right here are pretty stable. I can I run all my games, and um, it's it's a light, nice little boost. You could probably push it um, a little bit more, maybe a lot more, depending on what kind of cooling you have. I have the stock cooler, so I mean this is as far as I can go with the system. It's stable. show that on the screen I'm gonna be running fraps in the background as well so you can see the frames per second on the lower right hand corner so let's fire it up and we're gonna be doing both the extreme and the regular version of fire strike and you can see it's for high performing gaming PCs while the extreme is for extreme gaming PCs so extreme meaning dual GPUs or something like that or three way SLI or crossfire anyways let's start with this one first try yes and let's see what kind of numbers we get And you can see in the background there that the clock, the GPU clock speed is around 1300 megahertz. I don't know if you guys caught a glimpse of that.
In this combined test, I get around 12 frames per second when on the stock settings. But because I overclocked it, I'm probably going to be getting around 14 or 15, maybe. Let's see what kind of numbers we get running the regular fire strike. 72.52. Not bad, not bad. Could probably push this card a little more for uh, for this test. I know I've pushed it and I got a score of 74 something, but those were some high settings and it's, the system was not stable at those settings. So, my results. Seventy two, thirty three, seventy two, yeah, right around seventy two. All right, now let's run Fire Strike Extreme. And again, this test is for computers with at least two graphics cards, but the GTX 680 it's able to run this even at. It's not going to kill the test, but it's going to be able to run it, and you'll see what kind of numbers you get running the extreme version of this test. Right. Test one. And this is just for entertainment purposes. I mean, <laughs> this graphics card is not going to kill this test but let's see if it'll, if it'll make it to the end Yeah, it's not doing so hot.
seven frames per second. Golly. This thing has my card down to its knees. My God. Look at that. Eight frames per second. Let's see what kind of silly score we get. Thirty-seven oh five. Oof. Now I run these tests uh, a little bit earlier and got my results. Thirty-seven oh five, thirty-seven hundred, seventy-two fifty-three, seventy-two fifty-two. Just pretty much the same. So, um, let me show you just real quick what settings I have. These are some pretty stable settings. So if you have this card and you want to overclock it, you're just not sure what what to push it to. Then, you know, you can just copy my settings. Fan speed. Uh, I have a fan, a custom fan curve. You can see. Just have yours look like that, basically. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, comment. Uh, if I messed up on something, let me know. If uh, this is helpful, let me know. I want to hear about it too. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be making more videos, showing some gameplay, and hopefully, hopefully, it's a little guy that helps people like choose hardware or compare what they got you know maybe you went with HD 7970 and you're getting better numbers or you're getting less numbers you want to see how do you stack up so well, you know this that's the purpose of these videos just to like give you guys a guide of how things work and shit so thanks for watching peace